Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how you can download the Astro data from Earth Data NASA. For this I will search Earth Data Search Open the first website Here login uh, into this website Okay, I have already created an account within the Earth Data. I will, if you want to create the a register for a profile, click on this. I have already created this account, so I have put my username and password, and I will click on login. So this website will be open. For example, if you want to register an account, click on for register for a profile. Now here you can see the username instructions as well as for the password instruction and here you can only put the uh, put these information first name last name middle name email and all these uh, these are some of the some of the mandatory and uh, optional tabs okay so click on it and then continue so you the email will be sent to your uh, email address and from here just click on the uh, verify link and the account or the profile will be verified and you can then put your username and password here i have also already created it so i will put the the link of that video in the description and okay so i will click login so I have successfully logged into this website like Gsoft. Okay, here you can see different data set from here like uh, the instrument like AIRS. Okay, Astro data sets, AVHIR cameras, and all different data set. Modi's data and a lot of data are available here, so you can download it from here. Also, you can also check for the organizations. Art, okay. You can also select the da uh, data format, like in which format you want your data set. So, a lot of uh, formats are available. You can select for your data set type, okay. So, now let me search uh, Astro data first of all let me select my area of interest i will zoom into my area of interest this is my area of interest now select this search by special special rectangle or special polygon and this is by a circle okay now i will click this You can also search by shape file. You can upload it here. Now let me select this one. Okay. For this area, I will download the data set. Let me close this. Okay. Okay. Now here. I will search for Esther level 1 T actually uh, the level 1 T is the data which has the geometric and uh, radiometric correction have been already executed on this data so I will select this okay You can search okay here you can see uh ester level 1 t precision terrain corrected registered at sensor radiance now let me open this first link so these are some of the tiles are provided and here you can see i have provided uh seven zero nine seven hundred and nine 
tiles but now let me uh, select the cloud cover uh, for example minimum 0 and 2 cloud cover 2 so I'll click here like this and it will refresh all these okay anytime no I don't want to select this okay now you can see all the tiles like for example this tile cover this part of my area of interest and you can see this one as well you can see all of your tiles for example i need this one now i will add i click on the add granule to project i will click on this for example i need this one only this one so i have added now you can see only the download the download is only one for example you don't want to download this one so i will remove it again remove it now let me add again okay now you can see here only the uh, one tile now click on it okay here again click on this link okay okay now download data from here you can download you can see here the different bands that have that are available in this uh, data set i have band 2 okay band 2 band 1 band 14 13 12 11 and 10 but i don't have the 4 5 6 7 8 and band number 9 i don't have in this style i don't have the, those bands so you have to search uh, like again and again so you to find the tiles which have all these bands nowadays uh Esther have deleted some of the tiles uh, the near infrared and short wave infrared so the short near infrared data so maybe it's available uh in the beginning of 2026 so now let me again search for another tile that have maximum number of bands for example if i need this one let me check in this one now go to the download uh, i will remove the first one i don't need this one okay so go to the download data and now here again let me this is actually 10 11 12 13 and 14 and 1 2 and this i i don't have the those files if you want to download it so download files and click on the download files now the data before 2008 and 9 have uh, sometime all the bands uh, all of the visible near infrared and short wave, short wave infrared bands so i will select the time so for i will select the uh, 1990 january this is the start date start date you can select any date okay and let me january 1st and for this i will select the uh, 2008 okay This is actually 2009. Now let me come down here. Again, select okay, 2008 and January 2008. First, let me select first. Okay, and now all of the tiles will be refreshed for within this time zone time range. Okay, now for example, let me select any uh, tile in this area. For example, this one and now let me check it whether it has the data or all data or not let me okay now go to the download data 
and here search for the data okay so here you can see the four five six seven eight nine those bands are also provided within this okay so you can download it from here like go to the download you can also open the earth data download app if you're not going to download all this data at once so you can also this uh, within this app all of the data will be downloaded but i will cancel this one you can also download this these data one by one like this click on this tip and here it will redirect me to the downloading tab and here you can see you my download has been started and down has been downloaded successfully here again i'll come here i have downloaded the band 4 okay now open in another tab just like this another it will be start like this 10 11 12 13 14 this is band number one band two and all other uh, the supporting files i am also going to download all the supporting files okay so my data is downloading now okay Now here you can see the data has been successfully downloaded and you can see the bands band 4, 5, 6, 7 and 10, 11, 12 and 1, 2, 3. Okay, now let me open this data within ArcGIS Pro or I like add data and now access to that folder. Okay. Astro data. I have put my Astro data here. So let me select uh, the band four, five, and band four. Band one. Oh, sorry, band uh, two and three. So here you can see the all of the three bands have been added, uh, four, two, and three. I'll put the two on top, three and four. Okay. All of the bands, all of the four bands. Okay. Now let me composite it. So we can see the original. This is actually the band composite within the recent used. But let me search composite band composite band okay now select the band 2 band 3 and band 4 now click run okay so the band composite have successfully executed okay now here you can see the band composite imagery okay
now let me select the proper RGB uh, imagery so 3 for red 2 for green and 1 for blue okay so actually this is the extra data set and this is actually water this is green vegetation and you can find the different the details within this imagery okay for example let me show you what is the actual resolution of this data set let me go to the properties of this tile band and go to the source within the source raster information and here the cell size is 15 so it's actually this uh, tile is 15 meter resolution and now let me go to the properties of this one uh, four band band number four so this is actually 30 meter resolution so the band two and band one is 15 meter resolution and four number band is band four is 30 meter let me see the band three band three is also 15 meter resolution so here you can check the resolution of your data as well. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned.